Hey guys, Dash here from keycommerce.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add Google Shopping products to your Merchant Center. First, log into your Google Merchant Center account. Then, navigate to the Products tab. Click on Add Product, and then click on Add New Products one by one to start the process. You'll need to fill in information such as the product title, description, images, price, and other relevant details. Make sure the information you provide is accurate for each product. I'm going to fill in some of the details, and as you can see, it's the same information that I have on my website. The more information you complete in this step, the better Google will understand your product and show it to the right people. For identifying your product, it's best to use a GTIN. That stands for Global Trade Item Number. This helps gather worldwide reviews about your product. It can significantly enhance your product's visibility and credibility, especially when you're just starting out in the market. Next, select the language for your product details. Provide additional information about your product, including details like color, size, gender, and age group. Once you've entered the product details, make sure to configure shipping and tax information. This ensures that your customers get the right information when they're browsing your products on Google. Take a moment to review everything and click save if you're done or save and add another if you want to add more products. Even though it's still processing, the preview shows how it will appear on Google. If for some reason you want to delete a product, you can click on the delete button below. To check if you have the correct landing page for your product, click on the URL that you added and you'll see that it will open directly onto your website. And that's it. You can continue adding products until you've uploaded your entire inventory onto Google Merchant Center. This method works best for small inventories. For larger inventories, I recommend using a product feed. We have a video showing you how to set one up. I'll leave a link down below. If you're trying to optimize your shopping campaigns, then check out our free Google Shopping course. You'll learn everything you need to optimize and scale your shopping campaigns all for free. I'll leave a link down below.